Hey guys and welcome to another block spotlight. In the spotlight I will be taking a look at the nullifier block from thermal expansion. First let's have a look at the crafting recipe of this block. Now the nullifier is crafted with a lava bucket in the center. Then we have two tin ingots on the sides, one invar ingot at the top and one pneumatic servo at the bottom. The pneumatic servo is made using one piece of redstone two pieces of glass on the side and two pieces of iron on the top and the bottom. So I have a little setup here with nullifier and before I get to actually demonstrating what exactly this does I want to show you what the nullifier itself does. Now the nullifier as you can see has a very simple interface it's just one single slot here. Now it has a redstone control and a configuration, but I'll get to that in a second. So the nullifier, uh, the single slot here, obviously you can put something in there. And for example, I'll just throw this nullifier in there and it vanishes. Now what the nullifier does essentially is just destroy the item, sort of like void chests and trash cans, stuff like that. So basically it's just a block that get rid of that well that can get rid of unnecessary items. Alright, first we have redstone control. We have the first one ignored, means it will work whether or not a redstone signal is being applied. Then we have low, which is the default and means that it will only work when no redstone signal is being applied. And finally we have high, which means it will only work when a redstone signal is being applied. Now by default you will see this lava texture at the front. When it is, uh, is actually disabled it will not show this texture. Alright, now do keep in mind redstone control only affects uh, the block uh, when it inputs items. So you can still, even when it's disabled, drop items into the slot here and they will be destroyed. Just redstone control tells it, it to no longer accept any items entering into it. Next up we have the configuration right here. And this allows you to set which sides of the block are used as input. Now currently by default you have all sides set to none. So it does not have any inputs right now. Now this one is the top the right, the left, the bottom and the back of the block and by clicking these with either the left button to go forward or the right button to go back you can cycle through the various options in this case only the one which is the input. Now currently uh, let's say I set it to the top you will see the top of the block now displays this blue square. Now if you want to input any items automatically with a pipe or something you will have to connect it to a side where you have this input set up. Now you can do this with multiple sides but you do have to enable this. Alright so let's get back to my little setup here. Essentially what this does is we have this item duct here which is set to uh, ignored uh, to input items. Essentially it means it will pull items out of this chest which is filled up with stacks of chests and it will input them into the nullifier. Now I will quickly set this here to one so it only pulls out one chest at a time and you can see it's enabled right now so it has a redstone control to ignore it so it should be pulling out items and sending it into the nullifier as you can see on the left side here I have the uh, left side set up as an input and yet it is not doing this. Now this is essentially a demonstration of the redstone control of the nullifier which means that it will not accept any items as long as it is not turned on. Alright, now uh, to demonstrate the actual removal of these chests from there, as soon as the item duct has some place to put the uh, the chest items it will start pulling them out of the chest and start inputting them into the nullifier so let's uh, turn this back on by switching that to ignored and now you see chests flowing through the item duct and uh, being input into the nullifier so you won't see them pop up here but they are being destroyed by the nullifier so you can slowly see them trickle out now when i uh, disable this again you'll see it no longer accepts and the chests just bounce back into the um, the well the, the pipe connector I guess here which is currently stuffed with those three chests that bounced back. So if I turn this back on 
it will start outputting the chests again and inputting them into the nullifier. So that's basically it for the nullifier. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. A final note about the nullifier is that like most thermal expansion blocks, you can hold shift and right click it with a crescent hammer to remove it. So you don't have to use a pickaxe, just hold shift and right click it with a crescent hammer.